With cyber threats of all kinds increasing year on year and new ones springing up regularly, today I'm going to review a vast antivirus to find out whether it's really an effective protection against these threats. And at the same time, I'll answer a question you may not have even thought of. Is it in fact an effective threat to your privacy? Hello people, my name's Matt and welcome to the Privacy Freak channel. Today, I'm going to review a vast antivirus and reveal whether it's worth paying for the premium version or if the free version gives you all the protection that you need. Most people rarely realize they need an antivirus, but despite this, somewhere between 25 and 50% of computers still don't have adequate virus protection. So do you really need an antivirus? Well, on average, the Antivirus Test Institute reports around 350,000 new malware and PUI, potentially unwanted applications, every single day. <laughs> That's right, not a year or a month, every freaking day. And 90% of those are malware. So what types of malware are there and what damage can they do? Well, malware can include viruses, Trojan horses, worms, and spyware, which can delete, encrypt, or steal your data, monitor your activity, spam you with ads, redirect you to fraudulent websites, or hijack your computer altogether and use it to infect and spam other computers. Or it can simply destroy your computer entirely. So yeah, you need an antivirus, which will regularly scan your device for any of these nasties, quarantine any of them that they find, and remove them from your computer. Which basically is what a vast antivirus does. But let's break it down. So how does Avast protect me? Avast certainly has you covered when it comes to scanning for threats. They're easy to set up to run automatically or manually, and a nifty feature is that Avast will update its virus definitions before it starts scanning, which as there are around 350,000 new threats every day, it's pretty essential. It will then scan for any viruses or malware and clearly flag any issues that need fixing. However, there is a proviso to do this, you need to make sure you stick around and watch the section where I compare the free and premium versions. So, a vast coolest scanning feature is probably its AI-based behavior shield that scans individual programs to learn how they operate and then flags any odd behavior. And perhaps just as cool is a vast cyber capture feature that can then automatically transfer suspicious files to the Avast cloud for analysis. In terms of malware protection, even the free version has more features than some of the most popular paid antiviruses, including real-time protection that runs in ninja mode silently, removing any threats as they appear. You can also schedule scans so they run when you're not using the device, or set up custom scans of particular files or folders. Avast will also scan removable drives, and with all these scans, you can decide whether you want a quick scan or an in-depth scan of the entire device or drive. Two more features you might not expect to see in the free antivirus is a Wi-Fi scan that checks your network and all the devices on it for any vulnerabilities, and email security that flags malicious websites, downloads, and attachment, as well as blocking wanted tracking. The free version also includes a do not disturb mode that disables pop-ups if you're watching a movie or playing a game for instance, and add-ons including a free password manager, although it's not really that good, and a browser. Avast is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android, and also includes a monthly security report and automatic security updates. What extra features do I get in the paid version? So with such a fully featured free version, why would you bother to upgrade to the premium version? Well, first of all, do you remember I told you once the free version of Avast has finished scanning your file, folder, drive, or device, it flags any issues? Yeah? Well, good. Well, the way it does that is with the nice Resolve Now button, and you click that and Avast will automatically fix the issue. Or it won't. <laughs> you see, if it's a minor problem, it will automatically fix it, but before anything more serious, the Resolve Now button will take you to a payment page so you can upgrade to the premium version, which will fix all issues, minor or major. The premium version also has a very strong firewall, which allows you to control any incoming or outgoing traffic to your device. 
It also extends the real-time alerts to the Wi-Fi network, so when anyone else joins your network, you're informed straight away. As well as alerting you to potential hackers, this could prove useful if you find your Wi-Fi slowing down and want to find out who's responsible. One of the largest increases in cybercrime is ransomware. A lot of people think this is confined to businesses, but cybercriminals target individuals as well. The premium version of Avast includes a program called Ransomware Shield that stops your files, folders, or photos from being encrypted or changed without you saying so. The premium version also includes a useful sandbox feature that means you can open and run any suspect file without worrying whether it will harm your device, as well as a secure file shredder and a thorough disk cleanup program. So is the premium version worth it? The premium version is competitively priced at $34.99, but whether you need it or not depends on a few issues. You certainly don't need it for the sandbox, which few people will use, or the file shredder, unless you're paranoid. Okay, maybe it's useful for privacy freaks like you and me, but and you can get better disk cleanup programs for free. However, if you think important files or photos that might be target for ransomware, then it could be a good investment. Similarly, if you have serious problems that only premium version will fix, then it's worth the money. And that being said, the free version does actually fix a fair number of issues. So what are the pros and cons of a vast? Well, on the positive side, there's obviously a free version, and in independent lab tests, Avast consistently performs well, so you know it's giving you good all-round protection, and it's also feature-packed, and you can add on a number of additional programs such as Password Manager or Web Browser. And it's easy to set up and easy to use with the ability to automate many functions. On the negative side, you need to pay for the premium version for it to fix advanced issues, and even though you can scan drives, there's no auto scan feature if you add a new one such as a USB, and if you opt to run a boot scan, it can take quite a while to complete. There have also been complaints of a vast slowing people's computers down, although antiviruses will slow your computer to some extent. But there's a bigger issue, especially if you're a privacy freak. Why? Because in 2020, Avast was accused of scraping data from its users and selling it to third parties like Google. And we're not talking about a once-off here. It's alleged for at least seven years, Avast collected data and sold it via JumpShot, which is a data aggregating company owned by Avast themselves. The data collected included every click performed by Avast users, as well as timestamps, country, city, zip code, information, and even names and addresses. It's believed to have made millions of dollars before being forced to sell JumpShot and stop its data gathering after censor Ron Wyden, an advocate of digital privacy, led an investigation against the company. Should I use Avast? So should I use Avast, paid or free? But strangely, if you want a feature-laden, easy-to-use antivirus you can trust, then Avast is a good choice. If that is, you believe they've now given up their total disregard for users' privacy. Which is a tough call. And that's one you've got to make, because that's it for this video. I'm afraid all opinions in this review are my own, and it's entirely independent. If you want to give ExpressVPN a try risk-free, just click the button down below, because if you do, I'll get a small affiliate payment to make, and make more videos like this to help you reclaim your control in a world without privacy. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. Before you go, please consider pushing that subscriber button and ringing that bell icon to make sure you keep up to date with the fast-changing world of online privacy and security. Till next time, and remember, be paranoid, be private.